Congrats, Libby, on graduating high school. I know it's a big accomplishment. I'm so proud of everything that you've accomplished and everything that you will accomplish. I know that you're such a caring person, and I love you for that. I'm so glad that we're friends. I'm so glad to see what the future has, holds for you. Libby is one of the kindest people I have ever met. We have a lot of memories together. Um, the ones that stick out to me are from camp, especially Great Escape. My first year of Great Escape, I was very nervous, but Libby was there with me the entire week and she made me feel so welcome and comfortable. She made it so much fun and um, I grew closer to God that week and through her. She truly encompasses God's vision for us and she loves so selflessly. She would give everything before she asked for anything in return and I think that's what makes her so special. Um, I'm going to miss her a lot but I know that she's going to have a positive impact on everyone she meets through the rest of her life and I can't wait to see the big things she accomplishes. Libby, I am so grateful that I got to make some of my favorite church memories with you over the years. You're one of the funniest and most genuine people I know. You always know how to make me laugh and I'm so happy we got to spend all these years growing in our faith together. I am going to miss you so much, and I'm so proud of everything you've accomplished, and I wish you the best. Hey Libby, this is Ryan. Uh, I've been really happy to have gone to youth group with you for the past, uh, oh, I don't know how many years, a long time. Uh, really, you're just one of the most kind, uh, thoughtful, and friendly people I know, honestly. Yeah, you've always really just taken care to think about others, always just be a friend to everybody in the church, and I just, I can't wait to see what important and meaningful things you go on to do with your life. Libby Johnson is somebody I'm glad I know because there's always another level or something new to be discovered. For example, that little tomboy who could bait her own hook was also a cheerleader. Libby does a lot of things and she does them well. For example, you might ask, can she wrangle smaller children or a group of wild junior high girls? Turns out she can. Uh, she can also amaze you with the depths of her faith in just a short conversation that she probably doesn't even remember. She's a believer, and she's a good one. God has blessed Libby with a welcoming and accepting soul. And so for selfish reasons, I'm glad that she's going to stick around the Cedar Valley for a while. Um, but when you and I is done with her, the sky's the limit for Libby Johnson. So best wishes and thanks for everything, Libby. it has been great getting to know you over the years in the youth group. Um, I know you first came as a friend of Alexa and you were very, very quiet at first and it was just nice getting, uh, seeing you talking and joining in the group discussions and things like that. And then going to church camp at Montreat and um, you were so great at like meeting people. So it was wonderful just to watch you grow. Um, you know, you're an accomplished athlete, and I just am so sure you are going to do wonderful things with your life. God bless you. Hey, Lauren. Well, the day is finally here. Your graduation from Cedar Falls High School. 
I am sure it's not how you imagined it would be, um, but we are here to celebrate you anyway and wish you congratulations and the best of luck. Um, we've enjoyed watching you and the volleyball team over the last few years and all the success that you've had with that team. Um, and we also look forward to your career at Mount Mercy and hearing about how you're doing there from your folks and hopefully from you when you come to visit. So just wanted to wish you a um, happy graduation and congratulations and best wishes next year. Lauren, I am so grateful for our friendship over the past years. We have made some of the best memories together at countless concerts, sleepovers, church camps, and Wednesday nights at church. I feel blessed not only did I get to be friends with you outside of church, but also we have grown in our faith together. I am so proud of everything you've accomplished and I wish you the best and I'll miss you so much. Lauren is such a fun person. I'm really glad that we've grown closer friends like through school this year and from um, camp memories, I guess. Uh, Montreat this last year was such a fun time with her. She's hilarious and always made me laugh. Um, uh, we've had some great memories at Cedar Heights, uh, especially lock-ins and dodgeball, even though she's really good, so it kind of scares me, but most of the time she was on my team, so I was okay. Um, I'm just really thankful that I got the chance to meet her. She's unlike anyone I've ever met. She's so fun, so sweet. I don't know. I'm just really grateful that I got to be her friend. Um, she's going to do some amazing things in her future. She sets a goal and she goes for it. Nothing stops her. So I really admire that about her. Um, can't wait to see what you do in the future. Hey Lauren, congrats on graduating high school. I'm so proud of everything you've accomplished and I know that you'll accomplish even greater things at Mount Mercy. I'm so excited to still root for you in volleyball there. And I'm so excited to everything that you're gonna accomplish. Just know, never be afraid to take chances. It's okay to make mistakes and never forget to laugh. Hope you have a good time. I've known Alexa McNally for a long time, and as many of you know, I volunteer with the youth at Cedar Heights Church. And I would just say that Alexa has been a pillar of the youth group since the day she joined as a timid 7th grader. And during her time, I've seen her go from a timid 7th grader into a confident, college-ready adult. And I've been very fortunate to attend a lot of the summer camps and other programming with Alexa, and one thing that I've learned about her is that if you need a trustworthy, responsible young person to program the music for your five-hour drive to Green Lake, or at the end of the week to wash the shaving cream out of your eyes after the shaving cream wore, she is aptly named. I don't know how her parents knew to name her Alexa back in the day, but they got that exactly right. She does everything you'd want a youth group kid to do. So, I want all of you out there to think of this the next time you ask Electronic Alexa to do something for you. I want you to remember that there's a real-life Alexa that's even more awesome. So, best luck, Alexa. I'm sure you'll do great things. So, my friend Alexa McNally, um, she's just an amazing person, and I am so pumped to see what she's going to do. I would say she has such a bright future, and she's a very hard-working person and is always driven to do her best, um, but I'm going to miss her a lot next year because we have a super good relationship and we never fail to uh, make each other laugh and I'm going to miss all those good times but so cherish the memories that we've made together, but I know that um, she's going to do great things 
and I can't wait to see what she accomplishes in the future. Alexa, where do I even begin? Um, we've been friends at Cedar Heights for eight years. That seems crazy to think about. Time has flown by way too fast. Um, we have a lot of memories together. The stupid ones stick out to me, of course, like finding a rubber snake and naming it Ficus at Montreat, or doing Johnny's hair. Um, we always light the Christ candle on the Christmas Eve services every year. It's kind of our tradition for past couple of years. I don't remember. Um, we've just really helped each other grow in our faith and I am eternally grateful for meeting someone like you who I can grow in my faith with while also strengthening our friendship. Um, I'm gonna miss her a lot but I know that Alexa has an amazing next chapter and I can't wait to see What's in store for her? I've been friends with Alexa for a really long time and I came to Cedar Heights in elementary school and that really helped me that she was here. I especially like how we always laugh with each other and know what each other is thinking without even saying things at times. Alexa, you are such a wonderful person to be around. It has been such a pleasure to grow up with you in my life. I've really enjoyed all of the times that we have spent together at Great Escape, Montreat, youth group, and even Sunday school. I will never forget the laughs that we have shared and the memories that we have made. You are going to have such a bright future. You are so kind, so smart, and your smile can instantly brighten up a room. I wish you the absolute best. Alexa has always been such a good friend. She is always willing to lend a helping hand. She is so nice and she is very kind. Last year at Montreat, she was always willing to show me around when I needed it. Alexa really helped Mon make Montreat really fun. I know that if I ever have a problem or I need to talk about something, Alexa will be there for me. Congratulations on graduating. I feel like I know a lot more about you because your grandma Cindy is always so proud and telling me wonderful things about you. She's so proud of you. Um, you're such a wonderful uh, athlete and student and I just know you're going to do great in college. I just wanted to let you know that one of my favorite memories of you is your confirmation day and your baptism day and how special that was. I just remember you walking down the aisle of the church and just glowing and that's always going to stick with me and I hope that sticks with you too. God bless you and take care. Lindsay, you are such a caring and loving person. I'm so glad that I've gotten to know you through school, church, and athletics. Thank you for supporting me and leading me through the cross country and track season. You are such a great role model and inspire me and many others to push ourselves and be better people. You are a leader and a very passionate person and it shows. Thank you for letting me share memories with you and for being you. You are going to do great things in your future. Hey, Kenzie, congratulations on your graduation from Cedar Falls High School. I am sure this is not how you imagined it would be and kind of a bummer to miss your senior track season, which I'm sure would have been an amazing um, season. However, we have really enjoyed watching you develop as an athlete at Cedar Falls High School and just develop as a person over the past four years. And I uh, can't wait to see what you do at Oklahoma State and we'll be following you definitely um, during track season there. So in the meantime, enjoy today and enjoy your graduation and um, best wishes for next year. Hey Kenzie, man, it's been really fun hanging out with you in youth group ever since you decided to join, I mean, 
the memories you've created have really have really lasted with me. Um, your work ethic and drive to be better in everything you do really, really helps inspire me uh, in my own goals in my own life. Um, my favorite church memory with you was hanging out in the grape, Grapevine Tunnel at Great Escape. And I still remember when you said that you never want to go back home to your house and your 6,100 siblings you have. Uh, I wish the best of luck to you in your academic and athletic journeys at Oklahoma State. And you already know I'm going to be tuning in to watch you win that 800 at the Big 12 Championships next spring. Uh, I'm going to miss having you around. Take care, have a great summer, and go Pokes. Kenzie, I'm so thankful I get to call you one of my best friends. You're one of the kindest and funniest people I've ever met, and I'm so thankful for the memories we've had together. I am so glad you started coming to Wednesday nights a few years ago because we started to grow in our faith together, and we've had some of the best times. I am so proud of everything you've accomplished, and even though I'm bummed you're moving eight hours away from me, I wish you the best, and I'll miss you so much. Congratulations, Ryan, on graduating and all the accolades that came with it. Well deserved. You worked really, really hard. Um, it has been a pleasure watching you grow up in the church, um, just from a little kid singing in front of the congregation to, you know, uh, leading worship for, you know, youth events and things like that. And I just enjoy going on trips to. Uh, Montreat was excellent. Um, you just turned out to be a wonderful young man. Uh, you have great leadership qualities, and when we do our Bible when we do our Bible studies in youth group on Wednesday nights, you ha bring so much to the table and have really thoughtful observations. And what I really loved about this year as well is that um, watching you as a brother with your your littlest um, with with uh, your your littlest siblings and just how loving you are with them. You just, you're an all around great kid and I wish you the best of luck and in everything that you do. Hey, what's up, Ryan? Man, can't believe you're already a senior. Seems like just yesterday, we were out playing wiffle ball in the backyard when we were neighbors or running the Sturgis Falls 5K together. Anyway, your great leadership and patience through youth group has been very appreciated. And your uh, quarantine beard even inspired me to grow a little facial, facial hair here myself. Um, favorite memory of you during church was showing me and Kyle around Great Escape and creek stomping at Montreat. That, that can't be beat. Uh, I want to wish you good luck in Iowa City next year, but don't be surprised when the Cyclones storm into Kinnick and take that Cyhawk trophy next fall. Am I right? Anyway, gonna gonna miss having you around during church, and again, best of luck in the future. We'll see you later. Ryan, I'm so grateful for the memories we've made together over the years, especially at Great Escape in Montreat. I'm so sad we can't go to Montreat as seniors, although maybe we can convince Johnny to sneak us in next year. Um, anyway, I've had the best of times with you, and I'm so proud of everything you've accomplished, and I know you're on a big thing, so good luck. Ryan. Getting to know you throughout middle school and high school has been such a blast. We have shared so many great laughs together at Great Escape and Montreat, and I will never forget how much fun it is to be around you. The future that you have ahead of you is so incredibly bright. You have such a positive attitude, and you always take initiative whenever your leadership is needed. From getting to know you, I'm convinced that there is nothing that you are incapable of doing. I wish you the best of luck with your future and thank you for all of the great memories. I've always looked up to Ryan as a great role model. Going to church camps and playing games with him during lock-ins have been some of the best memories I have of us together. 
having Ryan at Wednesday night has always been fun, from his great attitude to his funny jokes. We can't wait to see where Ryan goes, and he's always been a great, great, great big brother for us. ago, our family as well as Debs welcomed Laura Catherine Young into the fold. What an incredible blessing she has been to all of us. Laura is kind, caring, incredibly hardworking, and highly intelligent. She's known for her patience, curiosity, dry wit, and love of reading. She's provided so many happy memories and been an amazing daughter, granddaughter, cousin, and niece. Laura has never met an animal she didn't love, including reptiles that most of us stay away from. From the time she was a child, she has been as happy with a snake coiled around her neck as she is cuddling with a family cat named Moose or dog named Teddy. She's volunteered with the Humane Society for years. Laura was an incredible cook long before she got hired by Scratch Cupcakes. She's at home in the kitchen, and her yeast breads, cakes, cookies, and pies are second to none. Laura, who plays the trumpet, is a gifted musician. She plans to double major in music and science at St. Olaf College this fall. It's said that still waters run deep. That's certainly the case with Laura. Her faith is thoughtful, contemplative, and ecumenical. She graduated in January from a Catholic high school. She's headed to a Lutheran college. And I am certain that graduate school is in her future. And I, for one, am hoping she heads to a Presbyterian University. Congratulations, Laura, on your graduation. Your entire family, as well as your church family, wishes you joy, fulfillment, and success in the bright future that lies ahead of you. Laura, I remember you as a sixth grader, wide-eyed and nervous, entering middle school at Hoover and participating in confirmation and youth group and in all of that, really not knowing what to expect. You took your faith seriously and you took your studies seriously. And because of that, over the past seven years, you persevered and you've accomplished many things. And now on to the next phase of your life, going on to college at St. Olaf. I know there may be times when you really don't know what to expect, but you will persevere and I know you'll do great things. I wish you the best of luck there. And if I may, I'd like to leave you with three challenges. First, stay true to yourself. Always be you. Second, stay true to your faith. And third, know that no matter where you go, God is always with you. Congratulations, Laura, and God bless. Laura, it has been such a pleasure getting to know you this year. I'm glad I've gotten to know how funny, smart, and talented you are. This year, I learned a lot about your character, and I found out that you're such an easygoing person and you're so easy to talk to. I've had so much fun chatting with you. I know that you're going to have a very successful time in college. You are so incredibly gifted, and you're great at making friends. Thank you for all of the laughs. I wish you the best. Well, here we are class of 2020, here in this room, this youth room, where we spent many a Wednesday night, many a lock-in, many a time goofing off, laughing together, studying scripture, making memories. I can tell you, my friends, that all the memories that I've been so fortunate and blessed to make with you, I will cherish forever. I feel so lucky, so very blessed to know each of you. You know, I've experienced a lot of graduations in my life and since being at this church, but this year, this one strikes me particularly hard because I feel I know you all so well. 
I got to know your families. I was with you at Great Escape, and I've had the just great, great privilege and pleasure of watching you grow up into the wonderful, amazing, brilliant, gifted, talented children of God that you all are. And I know that God has gifted you with everything you need to succeed. You will succeed in whatever you want to do. Know that wherever you're going, the Holy Spirit has already gone ahead of you to prepare the way. Know also that I will always be here for you. You can call me anytime if you want to talk or reminisce, or if you just have something you want to get off your chest, know that I will still be here for you. You're all so important. Your footprint will be ever imprinted upon the life of this church and in this youth group. I'm going to miss you very much, and I'm so glad that most of you aren't going very far away. Know finally that you have made me, by knowing you guys in the special way that I have, you've made me not only a better pastor, but a better person. And so thank you. Thank you so much for the opportunity to know you, to know your families. Thank you for being you. Thank you for being my friends. Know that God loves you. Know that I love you. And so I won't say goodbye. For now, I'll just say, see you later. <laughs>